For some of us that are really excited over UFC and all these great fighters, you want to see power? Look at the body of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Look at the power of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Such a strong individual, such a powerful individual that the greatest wrestler of the time, Rukana, he comes in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He says, "Oh Muhammad, you put me to the ground and I become a Muslim." And Rukana had never lost a fight in his entire life. Do you know how strong these Arabs were? When when the poets describe the power of the Arabs. When the poets describe the powerful men of the Arab, you know how these Arabs would prove their would, would prove their power? They would take a rope and tie it around their waist. They would take a rope and what would they do with it? Tie it around their waist. And the other side of the rope they would tie it on a horse. Then with both of their hands they would grab a tree. And they would whip the horse and see if it could pull away it pull that person away from the tree. Can you imagine that? They would whip the horse then and say what? Let me see if you can pull me away from the tree and he would be holding to the tree like this. These men were rock solid. These men were true strong men. You could you can't even imagine that. A lot of those Arabs, they, how would people describe them? For example, Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu. Those who describe the physical feature of Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu, how do they describe him? They say his forearms are the size of a normal man's thigh. Look at your thigh for a second. Feel your thigh for a second. Right? The forearm of Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu was the size of a normal man's thigh. These men were strong men. And this man comes in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He sees a beautiful, handsome face, and he thinks that there's no power behind it. He sees the beautiful, handsome voice. He hears the beautiful, handsome voice, and he thinks there's no power behind this man. And he says, "Muhammad, why don't you beat me, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I will become a Muslim?" Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Okay, bring it on." Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't check it out. He said, "What did he say? Come on, let's go right now on the spot. Let's go right now." And the person came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rukana came, and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What did he do to him? He picked him up and put him on the ground. He put him down. He stood up again. He goes, "No, no, no, that, I slipped there." And he made up some excuse because right? he couldn't believe it that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam just put him down. He said again, and he comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam a second time. And what does Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam do a second time? He picks him up again and puts him on the ground again. He can't stand in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is the power of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam.